If you are a daily train commuter here in Manila, this site is nothing new to you. For this so-called disaster, the Department of Transportation and Communication, or DOTC, has been receiving all the mudslinging. First of all, we haven't got any the DOTC is one of the biggest government agencies. It mainly covers and regulates the country's air, land, and sea infrastructures. It is also one of the departments with the biggest allocations under the national budget. This year, the DOTC received 45.5 billion pesos. Since DOTC is under the administration's public-private partnership program, it is also close to impossible for the department to escape the public's keen eye. DOTC is accused by many militant groups and watchdogs as the Department of Backlog Projects. Senator Francis Escudero also ordered DOTC through Resolution 494 to explain why it has been slow in carrying out projects, particularly railways and mass transportation systems. The projects mentioned are the MRT Line 7, LRT Cavite Extension, LTO IT Project, and MRT3 expansion, among others. The senator said the public is running out of patience over the DOT's delays, prolonging the agony of the Filipinos they're supposed to serve. Escudero added that this is unacceptable, especially in the light of the country's improving economy. Welcome to Opposing Views, a hard, straightforward discussion of today's most pressing issues. DOTC is a big government agency compared to others. It has a big budget and big, big projects too. But is it factual to say that they are not keeping up with their big responsibility to the people due to its alleged project backlogs? Let's know the answers tonight. So our debate question is, is the Department of Transportation and Communications adequately addressing transportation backlogs in the country? Good evening, I'm Rod Dipomoseno, and this is Opposing Views. Joining us tonight in our discussion is Attorney Michael Arthur Sagkal, spokesperson of the Department of Transportation and Communication. Uh, Attorney Sagkal, yes. good, good evening and uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, can you give us your uh, quick thoughts, uh, a summary of your position regarding our debate question for tonight? Sure. Uh, you know, the DOTC, just to put a bit of context into it, the DOTC has been uh, suffering from a backlog of projects for a good 15 to 20 years. Mm -hmm. That's what we're catching up with now. So is it adequate, is it correct to say that uh, there's a backlog that we're addressing? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Is the DOTC doing what it's supposed to do? It is. Whether or not we're doing it uh, enough, fast enough, I think that's a matter of debate. I know people are impatient, but we are doing our best. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, Director Miggs, I'll call you Director Miggs. Okay. On the opposing side is Mr. Uh, Leon Peralta, founding chairman of the anti trapa movement of the Philippines and convener of uh, RILES Network. Uh, sir, Kaleon, good evening. Good evening. Thank too. you for joining us. Uh, sir, your, your thoughts, your quick summary, uh, the quick summary of your position uh, on this debate I question. would like to react to what my friend is, uh, had told a while ago. Mm -hmm. I think it's my opposite, uh, my views are opposite to his uh, claims that they are doing their mandate. Okay. All right. So we'll, we'll start off the fireworks right now, <laughs> all right? Uh, so I'll, I'll throw the first question to you, Kalyon. I'll call you Kalyon. Okay, um, go ahead. Uh, do you believe that there is a, a massive ba backlog in the OTC projects? And if so, uh, can you name a few? Uh, well, uh, so what's uh, uh, an NGO what's dog? We concentrated on the procurement laws. Mm -hmm. and, and when we launched our Kotong virus shame campaign programs, there are people who are like uh, Ben Hurs in the DOTC that Sorry, uh, did, what did you say, Ben Hurst? Uh, ben, oh. ben Hurst, oh, Ben Hurst, Louis. Oh, Ben Hurst, okay, whistleblowers, okay, okay. That uh, keeps on informing us All about right. uh, uh, how things are going are inside these, the OTC. Are these verified, these Ben Hurst, are these verified sources or they're, they're really... Well, uh, when we get information from these people, we try to verify this mm -hmm. before we do some of our paperwork. Okay, uh, and uh, what, what do you think is the, the cause of delay? Now, of course, this, it's a general statement saying there's a lot of delays, but 
What do you think is the, the cause of delay? Well, uh, first and foremost, uh, we have observed that uh, there are so many lawyers in <laughs> no. the Bids and Awards Committee. And it's our fault. Less I agree with that. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. We would be suggesting to them that they have to have uh, technocrats in their mm -hmm. uh, technical working group. Okay. Because the last time we observed their bidding in the uh, IT, yata, sa IT, we saw the technical working group, they are very youthful and less experienced. If, mm. I, if I'm not ano, ha, mistaken. Mm. Okay. So, okay. even uh, during the last bidding sa IT project nila, they are, twice silang nagpalit ng uh, tore in terms of, pag, uh, terms of uh, reference. Uh, TRO, di ba? Yeah. Mm. Ah, no, 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 that the, the, the terms of preference. Yeah. Dalawang beses silang nagpalit eh. Mm -hmm. And you think it's because they have young, young lawyers who are inexperienced? That's, that's the reason? Well, that's, uh, I think that's uh, the main issue. Mm -hmm. Dr. Miggs, you, you think that's... There are more lawyers than you think technocrats. That's, a, that, that's true? Well, of course, as being lawyers, maybe <laughs> <there's laughs> might be a little biased. No? But, uh, yeah. but uh, does the DOTC have, I mean, inexperienced young lawyers handling this bidding process, for example? Sure, I'll actually address the first point uh, about having Ben Hurst at the DOTC. You know, we would like to hear any proof that uh, any testimony that they have to say that there are any anomalies or irregularities. I think the difference, it's not accurate to say that they're Ben-Hur Lewis because Ben-Hur has come out in the open and ex made expose. So I would like to hear what these people when, have to say. Uh, when I yeah. said that's Ben-Hur Lewis, that's mm -hmm. quote unquote. Mm -hmm. uh, quote unquote, yeah. So yes. they're just informants. They're basically uh, so in, in, when exactly. They, when we receive information, we develop information. And uh, we, exactly, when we yes. have... Uh, so when you uh, say Ben Horse, I might be hard, thinking that there might evidence, be... Hard evidence, then we file cases. They might and be involved in some pork barrel. <laughs> they are aware of the cases we filed. There, there uh, have been uh, cases filed, uh, yes, but we would like to see the evidence. Uh, and believe me, sir, if there are any, if there's any basis for those allegations, we will be the first to side with you and prosecute mm -hmm. whoever needs to be prosecuted. Now, do you think As that the, lawyers, delays, yeah, the delays are caused yeah, by you know, inexperienced... Uh, there are a lot of lawyers, that's true. Uh, we need perhaps more uh, technical people, okay. I agree, sure. Uh, Technical working group, it's usually a composite team of career uh, mm -hmm. of officers at the DOTC. We usually get somebody from the different fields so that they can help together. But I think in general, the projects, they can move faster if you have all the technical experts working in government. Right. But where are these technical experts? There are, a lot of them are in the private sector. Uh -huh. Who wants to work in the DOTC, which is always <laughs> being, uh, uh, you know, we're always under attack. People always criticize us. It's hard to get... Next question to you, mm. actually. Why? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, why am no. I here? <laughs> well, there are people, well-meaning people, so I can yeah. assure you that. Yeah. There are well-meaning people who want to serve in government and we're willing to take, you know, the criticisms, the brickbats, because in the yeah. long run, this will be good for the country. All right. Now, I'll, I'll ask you this question, but I think it's a rhetorical question. <laughs> uh, I, I, do you think the Filipino commuters uh, are, are satisfied on how the DOTC is, uh, is I guess... Uh, moving forward with its uh, addressing the transportation problems in the country? Well, actually, their crowd control is uh, actually uh, na ng dating palpak. Okay. Because I'm a, I'm a rider sa MRT and LRT. Yes. And during one of my rides, mm -hmm. I fell in line for quite an hour yata. Mm -hmm. Just to get into oh, the station. Crowd, crowd oh. control nila. And I, and I asked the guards, why there is uh, a, a long line? Because mm -hmm. according to them, it's only 100 people that could enter the station mm -hmm. for a certain uh, time frame. What time is this? What time were In the morning. In the morning. During so rush, rush hours. Hour. All right. Okay. Um, uh, Director Miggs, uh, your, your thoughts on, on, on Filipino commuters? Mm. I'm sure you get a, you have yeah. kind of a feel yes, of, 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 the, of public sentiment. Mm. What, do you think that uh, overall they're, they're, they're satisfied in what they're seeing, the, the, all, the, uh, all the infrastructure that's going on? No, they're yeah. not. Mm. They will be satisfied once the projects are completed. Okay. And we can't do that overnight. Mm -hmm. you know, we can't just come into office today and start building you know, rail systems, mm -hmm. highways, airports. If we did that, then in three years' time, we would have to do it all over again because it would have been poor quality, the plans wouldn't have been good. Yeah. So we have to invest today so that in the long run, we have the good facilities. But if I were a commuter today, which I, I do commute, I wouldn't be happy either. Yeah. And I understand mm -hmm. that completely. No, uh, let's talk about the, the level of backlog. No? Mm -hmm. say, I mean, people, you admitted uh, that there are backlogs and mm -hmm. there are some backlogs from the previous administration that you're still, you're still handling. Administrations. Right? Administrations, so, yeah. yeah. Um, do you think that at in, within this uh, administration, you, you'll be able to address those backlogs and come, uh, I guess, up to par with... Uh, 
I with think uh, the projects that are lined up? By and large, we'll be able to lay the foundation. Mm -hmm. But for instance, a rail system will take at least five years to build. Mm -hmm. An airport to plan it out will take five to 10 years. Mm -hmm. So within the term, the political term limits, that's not possible, but to lay the foundation so that in the next years and the next administrations, the, the infrastructure will be there. Definitely, yeah. we can do that. Ako, well, I go, going to Calion again, not uh, okay. defending the administration, just just the just my um, observation. Uh -huh. There are a lot of things going on, no? and it's causing a lot of traffic and all that. And uh, do you think? Don't you see? Um, don't you observe all of these uh, infrastructure pro projects going on as a sign that uh, the government is uh, doing its best? Well. Uh, Let's go back to the backlogs mm. of the OTC. How, did it, how it happened? Uh, it's our opinion that uh, there are two backlogs that we are concentrating. Okay. One is the, uh, the IT project mm. Mm. that supposed to be, uh, be awarded to a very competent bidder. Mm. They know for a fact that uh, Stradcom, mm. uh, uh, according to NEDA or COA, uh, the contract between Stradcom and the government is dis disadvantageous to our government. They know that. All right. Okay. okay I'll, I'll, I'll have to. Uh, but but okay. But still, uh, Stradcom is their IT provider until this time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we have to uh, pause at that point. Okay. Let's uh, hold on to that thought. Uh, we need to take a short break. Meanwhile, you can join the discussions via Facebook at facebook.com/solaropposingviews. Or tweet your comments at opposing underscore views. Use the hashtag OVDOTC backlogs. Stay tuned. You're watching Opposing Views. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're still watching Opposing Views on the Solar News Channel. We have with us Attorney Michael Arthur Sakal, uh, direct, uh, spokesperson of the Department of Transportation and Communications, and Mr. Leon Peralta, founding chairman of the Anti-Trapo Movement of the Philippines and convener of Riles Network. Our debate for question for tonight is the Department of Transportation and Communications adequately addressing transportation backlogs in the country. All right, uh, just before we took a break, Leon, you were making a point that there's a, there seems to be a backlog in the awarding of the IT system, okay. no, which I would imagine is very important for the DOTC. Uh, mm -hmm. Director Miggs, your mm -hmm. thoughts on that? Uh, your, any comments on, on, mm -hmm. on what Kalyan is saying as the backlog, no, continuing mm -hmm. backlog in, in the IT bidding, or mm -hmm. the awarding of yeah. the, the IT system? It's called the, commonly called the LTO IT project. Yeah. <clears throat> it's the, essentially, it's the IT, uh, the, the, it's, uh, it's a back uh, process mm -hmm. kind of a system, which most of your motorists wouldn't appreciate unless they feel that there's a new IT system already. Anyway, mm -hmm. it's a 1997 contract. Stradcom mm -hmm. is the, the service provider right now. Mm -hmm. The cor contract technically uh, expired in 2013, so we mm -hmm. had been working before that, 2011, 2012, mm -hmm. to bid it out to get a new service provider or get mm -hmm. Stradcom if they win the bid. Uh, it failed last year. 20, the bidding failed. The bidding mm -hmm. failed last year, 2013. Mm -hmm. We're bidding it out again. So is there a delay? Yes, obviously. Mm. We, we wanted to get a new IT provider by last year. Mm. We haven't been able to do that, but then there are... Uh, I mean, the, the public kind of, well, you know, when you say the, the <coughs> bidding failed, you know, sometimes the public can't understand it. Why did it yeah. fail? How, how can it fail? Yeah, well... You know, for there, a number of legal reasons or... Uh, there are legal reasons. There was a TRO that was even filed okay. against it. It was okay. stopped for several months. Mm. Uh, that was in the first bidding. The yeah, first bidding, yes. Last year, yeah. Yes. Uh, were, you, were you very much uh, yeah, yeah, I'm very participating aware of that. in that? Were you participating there? I mean, at least in, in trying to find out the, the yeah, bidding. Yeah, we, uh, we tried to find out. Mm -hmm. and actually, there is a TRO, mm -hmm. and uh, that was uh, filed years. by uh, a bidder yeah. or somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a private and lawyer. Currently, that, there's a new one. There's a oh. pending TRO so petition. So that certainly right didn't help. Yeah. yeah, it's not helping again. So yeah. these are all the brickbats that are being thrown mm -hmm. against the DOTC. We want okay. to do the projects right. Now, what are the but, reasons for the TRO? I mean, is it because... They feel that, you know, one bidder feels that they're not getting their fair shake? Well, the funny thing is, in this case, it's not even a bidder. It's a private individual lawyer who filed a civil case, it's a TRO, mm -hmm. but using constitutional grounds. So I'll be surprised if the court sides with him. Constitu it would be very interesting if, he, if a TRO was issued. All right, let's go to some, uh, I hope you don't mind, Director, uh, sure. uh, Director Miggs. So we'll go to some controversial DOTC projects. Mm -hmm. 
the MRT3 congestion. No? Mm. Uh, did, we, did we add trains already? Uh, have we decongested that, mm. MRT3? Not yet. And that's another backlog that we've been, we needed 10 years ago. Uh, in 2004, 2005, additional trains were needed on MRT. Mm. The private company which owns MRT, it's just called the MRTC, mm. did not do anything about it. Contractually, they are supposed to add trains. Add trains, okay. Yes. So under, probably about two years ago, we started the, the process of bidding out, of studying how many trains would, should be added. We've started that process. We've awarded the contract to a supplier from China, mm. and we expect the trains to start coming in tranches beginning next year, 2015 mm. until 2017. Okay, so, so it'll, take, mm. it'll take that long? It will take, again, a few more years. But uh, if you do it right, then it, it will definitely take some time. Uh, Kalyon, your, your thoughts on that, on MRT3 congestion? Well, uh, actually, the, uh, let's go back to the IT. The, oh, okay. okay. All right. You want to go back, go back the there? IT. All right. Briefly. Well, actually, it should expire. It expired sometime February 10 of 2013. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when we uh, when we do so, when we did some uh, some uh, investigation, mm -hmm. uh, actually the DOTC started their uh, uh, paperwork only uh, uh, January of 2012. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they know for a fact that. Stratcom uh, contract with the government is uh, extend. It extended. Oh, You're saying it oh. extended? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let me. Uh, yeah. Let me. Yeah. When they assume office under the Pinoy administration, mm. they knew for a fact that uh, uh, the IT contract with the Stratcom is uh, uh, disadvantageous to the government. There's no gain for the government. It's mm. all for Stratcom. Okay. Mm. Even Pinoy knows about that. Uh, what we are uh, trying to drive at is because of their prior knowledge, why is it that uh, Stratcom is still the IT provider of a... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Now, very, of, very, uh, very quickly, I'm going to ask uh, Director Mix to yeah. address that, but we have to shift to the MRT uh, issue. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. We started before January 2012. We got NEDA approval in January 2012, okay. so there's a lot of uh, preparation before that. I think the alternative now, if we don't want, if we want to kick Stratcom out, is to have no IT provider for LTE, which is which probably a, a chaos, a, 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 a worse situation. Yes. All right. Uh, I'm sorry. We, well, uh, we did discuss that IT situation, and uh, I think we, we, we've covered that. So I said. A lot of the people are more concerned, They're not too concerned, I guess, of mm -hmm. the IT, you know, but uh -huh. more of you know, LRT, MRT, you know, one but, that's really uh, affecting their daily. But, uh, their uh, daily uh, 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 the ordinary stakeholders are uh, asking us what happened to the IT provider. Mm. Ah, okay. Even well, the, yeah. even the uh, their uh, MB license uh, plate uh, mm -hmm. is standardization project. Mm -hmm. is going to be. Uh, well, oh. we'll, we'll we'll touch on that in a, in a bit. Now, I, I want to ask uh, about uh, is your General feeling, Kalion, uh, um, no? uh, the, the, the outrage of commuters, whether online or, or, or otherwise, you think it's, it's, it's just magnifying, growing every day? Or do you think na pacify sila seeing all of these infrastructure projects going on? Barang, okay, we, I see, I see there's, there's something happening. Do you think that, that uh, what about is your the, sense? Uh, about the, outrage, uh, the outrage of commuters. Uh, I could speak for myself. Even me, I was... It, it's increasing. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm a daily... Oh. Daily uh, commuter uh -huh. of uh, so you, you, LRT you, yeah. and MRT. Mm -hmm. All right. So your, your general feeling is that the masses are, are getting more and more yeah, impatient. Oh. Yeah. yeah, all right. Now, they have been uh, shouting in big teams uh, mm -hmm. against the MRT management. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. <laughs> they are uh, under the sun, falling in line, all under right. the sun, rain mm -hmm. or shine. No, I understand. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can see. And I, I even saw a YouTube video that, I don't know if you've yes. seen that YouTube yes. video where oh. it was a long... Yes. I've a long uh, video you, yeah. showing it long no, line. No? Yeah. So um, now let's go to another project, no? LRT1 Cavite extension. We've been mm -hmm. talking about this uh, for quite some time. Mm -hmm. uh, will this happen anytime soon, the LRT1 uh, Cavite extension? Mm -hmm. Well, we're almost award, uh, we're about to award the project already. We mm -hmm. just need NEDA board approval, hopefully within the month. And then the project itself, again, a rail system isn't overnight. It will take about five years to construct, but we're looking at 2019 mm -hmm. as a whole extension of the line all the way to Cavite, where you have about 400,000 additional mm -hmm. riders benefiting from the LRT line. Okay. Do you, do you think, Kalyon, uh, that the, the NEDA approval also kind of aggravates well, the situation? Well, that's another uh, thing that uh, our, uh, we are trying to... Uh, uh, trying to uh, communicate with uh, the, the Bids and Awards Committee of mm. the OTC. Mm. 
I'm going to ask them again another question about the NEDA approval okay, of the ahead. second bidding of the of their IT project. Mm. Again, going back to the IT project. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm been <laughs> you're really sticking to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really sticking to this. All right, I see. Uh, because okay. uh, you know, because uh, it's a sticking point for you. Uh, because uh -huh. we concentrated on two projects of uh, the OTC. Mm -hmm. One is the IT project, and the other one is the uh, motor Please. vehicle license plate uh, okay. standardization program of the DOTC LTO. Okay. Uh, again, what is your what is your point again regarding the IT? Well, uh, the NEDA, the NEDA. I NEDA. All right. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. Wait, uh, how about a quick one on that? Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, was the NEDA involved in the IT uh, oh, yes. awarding? Of course, yes, the IT we, we obtained NEDA approval uh, previously for the first bid, and it's still... That was mm. previously, but on yes. the second bidding, you did not... Uh, it's the same project, sir. Well, uh, actually, according to the, the Government uh, Procurement Reform Act, mm -hmm. any deviation from the, the cost of the project mm. or... Uh, to the terms of uh, reference, you should, should get another NEDA approval. Is that correct? Uh, it's, uh, it's not any. I mean, it's major, major Oh, major, changes, major. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. In this case, LTO IT, we bid it out the first time. This is partly why it failed, because it was such a broad scope mm. that most of the bidders could not uh, meet those requirements. So what we did was we bid it out in two lots. We're bidding out now the software component. Mm. We will bid out the hardware component. I so it will be the same project at the end. Okay. Well, and then there were, were there deviations? Were there deviations though from very the, minor from, deviations? Very minor deviations. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, may I? May I uh, sure. Uh, sure. Well, actually, uh, based on our uh, investigation, mm -hmm. uh, there was a change on the value of the uh, the, the second bidding for the IT project. Mm -hmm. Previously, it, it was from three point one. Then it was raised to three point four. Mm -hmm. The three the three point one is based on two, two uh, what do you call this, nationwide, uh, nationwide aspect of the program. Mm -hmm. But the 3.4 uh, cost is based only on one, on the main office. So there are two phases of the, of mm -hmm. the bidding, uh, of the, of the bidding, mm -hmm. okay? The first phase is the 3.4, which only, uh, Concentrates on, on the Metamanila. main main office. All right. Yeah. I, I'll again hold a thought. We need to take a short break. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, uh, please uh, participate in our conversation. You can check our, our Facebook page and of course our Twitter Twitter page. Stay tuned. Opposing views. We'll be right back. ginagawa nilang projects like sa MRT, feeling ko hindi siya ganang kapulido eh. Uh, tulad nung ngayon yung mga power shortage na ganyan, medyo nakakaabala talaga sa mga ano, regular passengers. Sa ngayon, okay lang yan dahil uh, para dumami naman ang ating madaanan ng mga nagsakyan. Sa totoo lang kasi, wala naman sila nagagawa eh. Di ba? Kung tutusin, malaki nga yung kaltas sa uh, tax ng mga empleyado. Kaya lang pag nalalaman mo gano'n, nakakakonsume. Hindi po ako satisfied kasi masyado matagal yung process. Then sometimes merong nasisiraan na LRT, MRT. Welcome back. You're still watching Opposing Views on the Solar News Channel. I'm Rodney Pomoseno. Still with us, Attorney Michael Arthur Sagkal, DOTC spokesperson, and Mr. Leon Peralta, the founding chairman of the Anti-Trapo Movement of the Philippines and the convener of Realist Network. Our question is the Department of Transportation and Communications adequately addressing transportation backlogs in the country? Now, uh, just before we took mm -hmm. a break, we were talking about the LRT. No? Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the issues uh, the, involving the LRT is regarding this SM and Trinoma mm -hmm. um, station. No? They're mm -hmm. competing as to where the common terminal will be built. Mm -hmm. And to date, I think the, the, I mean, the situation or I think the, the decision has been to build it in front of Trinoma. But uh, there, there, there are statements from the SM group that mm -hmm. in 2009, there was supposed to be a memorandum of agreement mm -hmm. where SM uh, North EDSA was going to be the, the, uh, the common terminal and that the station will be named after uh, mm -hmm. SM North EDSA and there was even a grant of, of 200 million pesos. What happened mm -hmm. to that? What, what is that? Can you clarify? I, I know that it's, yeah. uh, it's probably 
uh, subsidies yeah. right now. No? Yeah, it's, I can't really comment much on that, but it's a 2009 deal mm -hmm. under the previous administration. Mm -hmm. It was 200 million pesos paid to government. Mm -hmm. uh, whether or not that deal is valid is still subject to the court's appreciation. Mm -hmm. What's important is that the DOTC now is acting on behalf of the consumers. We chose the station, the end of the MRT station, as the common station because it would be most beneficial to the public. Mm -hmm. But it must, be, it must be difficult for a private party to be mm -hmm. entering into an agreement mm -hmm and even providing an amount or paying mm. an amount and then sure. later on it's just going to be uh, i guess uh, mm. thwarted or it's mm. just going to be ignored by the government is that uh, is that the case or is this is that the case or uh, uh, i mean who questioned yeah. the deal uh, was it the yeah, well, other party uh, again the, the validity of that deal is still up for the courts to decide mm. but i don't think they will take it against government to act on behalf of the people all right okay now um uh, I'll ask you again, uh, Director um, uh, Miggs. No? Uh, mm -hmm. Senator Ralph Recht questioned the DOTC's plan mm -hmm. uh, to replace some 9 million uh, vehicular mm -hmm. license plates nationwide, mm -hmm. uh, a move that is supposedly, supposed to, supposedly mm -hmm. to curb uh, car theft. No? Mm -hmm. um, now, do you agree with the statement? He said that it looks like it's, it's, it's like a business, mm -hmm. no? and uh, you know, vehicle owners have to pay uh, 450 pesos each for uh, for each uh, mm -hmm. new plate, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, the amount of 380 pesos goes to the uh, the manufacturer, mm -hmm. while 70 pesos goes to the DOTC. Uh, can you comment on this uh, on, on this comment of mm -hmm. uh, Senator Ralph? Director? Sure. Uh, there's a need for the plates, obviously. Mm -hmm. When you buy a car, you get new plates, you pay for that. Yeah. We're charging the same amount from the uh, from the vehicle owners, of course the existing vehicle owners will have to buy plates as well. Mm -hmm. But where does the money go? The money goes partly to the supplier. Major part of that goes to the national treasury. It's mm -hmm. part of the national budget, what, which mm -hmm. can be used now for more worthy projects. Schools, farm to market roads, irrigation systems. There are so many ways to use the, the money mm -hmm. uh, that is more equitable to yeah. other uh, stakeholders. Why the need to change the... the, the there are a lot effect. of security lapses. Like for instance, the existing plates now, uh, you have a different supplier for the for the sheet metal. You have a different supplier for the covering, the, she the mm. sheeting uh, material. They point at each other when the planes don't work. Mm. So we procured somebody more reliable. We wanted a, a plate supplier that would be uh, more dependable, mm. that would be that would last longer, and would be able to provide security features, mm. which would prevent, for instance, colorum operations of buses mm. and other public utility vehicles. All right. Okay. Uh, Kalyon, your thoughts on this? Uh, you were you were commenting on this. I uh, agree on uh, his opinion that uh, it will benefit the government okay. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes okay. to income. Yes, but yes. we don't agree on the way the bidding process was done. Why is this? Mm. Uh, can you be more specific on... on well, first and foremost, we, uh, well, uh, the winning bidder is uh, uh, JKG Power Plates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, well, one, one thing that we are not, uh, uh, we are not uh, agreeing with the OTC, mm -hmm. because uh, we found out that uh, the, the, the joint venture of JKG and power plates uh, uh, are not financially cap capable. They're not okay. financially capable. They're not financially capable. Okay. Let me okay. cite one example. Okay. You're going to go through your, uh, your documents <laughs> here? Go. I'll go to my notes. Okay. Okay, as, uh, okay. as you go on, uh, yeah. uh, well, can you make a comment uh, initially, uh, Migs? Yeah, we tried, we we tried follow to get, the procurement law, I'm yeah, pretty okay. sure that... Uh, uh, we tried to yeah. get uh, the financial statement of uh, power plates. Mm -hmm. This okay. is based on SEC records. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. okay. The net income of power plates, as declared by them in their FS, is only 41,729. Mm -hmm. That's okay. the, the net income. And then, uh, we allege also that... Uh, JKG submitted uh, an audited uh, FS. Okay. That's in violation of the procurement law. And it's implementing IRR. That's our allegation. But mm. it's up to the court to decide or to... Have you filed a case? Uh, yeah, yeah, we uh, filed. Uh, yeah, filed. Okay. We filed. okay. Sorry. Uh, uh, Director Mix? Yeah. Your, your thoughts on that? If I recall correctly, I don't know the details. You might be okay. in a better place. But if I recall correctly, the financial capacity was uh, met by JKG, not power plates. So even if power plates does not... Yeah, that's the what you're... Uh, yes. Uh, the, the case, I think, should settle that. Uh, I wasn't aware, in fact, that yeah, there was yeah. one filed, but uh, I think we'll be able to, we are confident that we can defend our decisions. In well, part of more, uh, yeah. uh, Go ahead. when we asked the DOTC about mm -hmm. supporting documents of the winning bidder, mm -hmm. uh, 
they tried to refuse when we wrote them a letter mm -hmm. about uh, requesting for documents. They refused us. Yeah. Uh -huh. But okay. lately, when we wrote another letter, uh, uh, they immediately answered. Mm -hmm. But when we asked about the performance ban of the mm. wedding bidder, mm. they said that they will ask for the permission of the wedding bidder mm. for us to be given the performance ban. Mm. Okay. Okay. Ang sabi nga namin, ito ba ay tuwid na daan? Sino ba ang boss nila? Mm. Ang taong bayad o ang yung nanalong bidder? Mm. Uh, yeah. In view so, of transparency and public interest, mm. I think they have to uh, partner us with the performance mm. ban of the winning bidder. Mm. Okay. I don't there think there's any issue with that. No, there are legal processes that we have to no. follow. There might be some limitations. There are confidentiality clauses in some cases. During procurement, we can't disclose all the materials. I think that's what you were referring to earlier, which is yeah. why we were able to furnish you with copies afterwards. Mm. Uh, just my curiosity, what's with the performance bond? Well, uh, we are trying to ask whether or not they, 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 uh, they put covered. up the required performance mm. bond. Okay. Mm. Because it's a 3.2 billion project. Yeah, it's a multi-year, five-year multi-year uh, mm -hmm. project. Mm -hmm. So it, the performance bond should be equivalent to the, yeah. to the project. So I, oh. I do see where you're coming from. So Obviously, you want to know if they're, to, uh, they're covered. We are trying to mm -hmm. secure the... Yeah, secure uh, we are trying to request from secure. them mm -hmm. the performance bond put up by the winning bidder mm -hmm. so that we could evaluate on our own whether, whether, whether or not they are really... They are financially capable yeah. mm -hmm. in putting up this mm -hmm. performance yeah, security bond. So, Director Migs, yeah. Sure, I understand. Uh, yeah. but, they, they, but they wrote me a letter mm -hmm. that they will try to ask mm -hmm. first the permission of the, the winning bidder. Okay. Yes, That's that, why, in so view of uh, transparency and public mm -hmm. interest, mm -hmm. because th this bidding uh, is not a private public partnership or a public private partnership. It's under the Re uh, uh, Republic Act 9184 or the hmm. procurement law in which hmm. ang pambabayad dito is galing sa taong bayan. Taxes, mm -hmm. all right. Okay. So, do, do you see any reason why they shouldn't, be, ha shouldn't have a copy of the uh, performance there, there could be limitations in the procurement process. There could be confidentiality clauses. But anyway, if it's in court, then we will obviously have to no, it's, submit no, it. No, it's mm -hmm. not yet no, in court, sure. but we are trying to get in view of transparency and, did you file and a public case, Did you file a case demanding for that? No. Uh, no. Okay. In uh, other no, words, no. in other words, uh, you're still looking okay. for evidence. So, you, uh, are you planning to file a, a, well, case, uh, a case to, to? We are meeting with our lawyers about this. Uh, 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 their uh, excuse, lame excuse. Mm -hmm. For us, it's a because lame I, excuse. I, I see the rationale behind it. I see uh, the rationale behind it. That's why I'm also mm -hmm. asking Director Miggs, uh, just for the you know, mm -hmm. in the interest of uh, no, uh, for the public to know. No. Oh. Uh, but at, at any rate, I think we're gonna be stuck in this. Uh, yeah. Uh, situation. So we'll leave it at that. Uh, okay. Let's move on to the next uh, question. Uh, some losing bidders for the Mactan Cebu International Airport project accused the OTC of conflict of interest because Megawide Construction Corporation and India's GMR infrastructure allegedly have no good track record and performance output. How do we effectively choose the winning bidders, mm -hmm. Director Mix? Let me correct that first. The, yeah. There was no accusation of conflict of interest against the DOTC. Mm. It was a, the allegation was a conflict of interest between two separate bidders, between themselves. All and right. there, were, there were rules in the bidding process which governed those, uh, that kind of a situation. Mm -hmm. And our ruling was that the, that the situation did not fall within what was prohibited. It, it didn't fall. Yes. Uh, so there but was the, no, conflict of interest, no conflict of interest. No conflict of interest. Of course, there would be parties, especially those who don't get the contract, mm -hmm. who will question that and who will insist on their position that there would be some ground for them to get the contract. Mm -hmm. But how do we effectively choose the winners? We stick to the law. That's mm -hmm. what the DOTC is doing. There are procur procurement laws. There are bidding rules. Mm -hmm. We follow off all of them to the T. And if there's any question, we are ready to face them in court. All right. Uh, Kalyan, are you familiar yeah. with the, the Mactan uh, Airport uh, bidding? I'm not. I'm not. Oh, you're not? Okay, I'm so not. you don't want to question that. All right. All right. Now, can, uh, can I ask you, uh, Kalyan, um, can the DOTC, you think, uh, be swayed by by huge competing business conglomerates. Do you think, do you think the DOTC is uh, keeping a, a neutral ground? Or do you think that there's, they're playing favorites? Well, uh, first and foremost, the Stratcom issue. Mm. Okay, uh, we're going back to the uh, IT. Going back <laughs> to the Stratcom issue. Uh, uh, going back to the, point there. Uh, okay. uh, to the license plate uh, uh. Uh, standardization, motor vehicle license plate standardization mm. program. Yeah. Uh, we allege that, uh, uh, there is some uh, uh, 
uh, there is some uh, we there is some inclination on our part that uh, that uh, like Isradcom. Mm. Uh, you you think that there's uh, Isradcom uh, contract terminated on February 10, 2013. Yeah, we which still which Isradcom is the IT provider. Yeah, but the, uh, uh, director makes already made a point that it was either extending them or we don't we end up with having no uh, IT. Uh, uh, right. That's right. Their, uh, your that's common jeepney driver, but they have your, to, your common jeepney driver would take months before they, they can get their license. Some some uh, interim, some uh, actions to terminate the contract of Stradco. Mm. Why is it? That it was extended. According to COA, mm. uh, that uh, the well, contract between the government and Stradco is disadvantageous to the government. It's still. So I'm trying to ask the mm. question. Uh, are you aware of that co uh, comment? Uh, you know, the, uh, I probably encountered it at some point. I'll be trying to ask a question. Mm -hmm. Yes, if the answer to mind, that is we don't have... due no, respect. No problem, Kalyan. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the, the, the obvious answer uh, is the contract itself allows for the, an extension. Is the extension if, of Israelcom is based on the old contract? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, at this so point, it's still uh, disadvantages to the government. That's why we're trying to <laughs> replace. Trying to, okay. that, uh, all right. Uh, well, we need to take a short break. Okay. Uh, don't go away. When we come back, the result of our online poll on the issue and the final words of our guests. Please stay tuned. You're watching Opposing Views. Welcome back. This is Opposing Views. I'm Rod Depomoceno. Our guests for tonight, Attorney Michael Arthur Sakal, spokesperson of the Department of Tra Transportation and Communications, and Mr. Leon Peralta, the founding chairman of the Anti-Trapo Movement of the Philippines and the convener of Realist Network. We ask tonight, is the Department of Transportation and Communications adequately addressing transportation backlogs in the country? Now, um, let's talk about the PNR, no? mm -hmm. um, uh, Philippine National Railroad. Senator Cynthia, Cynthia Villar said that the charter mm -hmm. has actually elapsed, but no one from the DOTC has approached her committee since last year. True? Mm -hmm. uh, first, the charter has not lapsed. It's supposed to lapse on June 20 this year, mm -hmm. later this month, but I think we've been able to meet the deadline. Uh, the PNR charter was first brought to both houses of Congress last year. Okay. PNR was the main, uh, the, the main uh, party involved in pushing for it. Uh, at the time that Senator Villar made that statement, in the lower house, it was already on second or third reading. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I don't think it's quite accurate to say that the DOTC did not do anything. All right. Uh, you have any comments on the Philippine National Railroad? If not, okay. then we'll move on no, to the, <laughs> another question. Um, uh, the MRT Line 7, mm -hmm. uh, which is North Avenue to Bulacan, mm -hmm. um, is it true that the project uh, has been delayed for almost five years uh, mm -hmm. due to DOTC's failure to secure a performance undertaking from the Department of Finance? Yes, it's delayed. No, mm -hmm. it's not because of DOTC's failure to get mm -hmm. uh, okay. approval. Can you elaborate the, on that? Yes, the contract was awarded during the previous administration. It was subject to uh, a review under this current administration. And while it was being reviewed, while the finer points which we felt should have been uh, adjusted to be more favorable to government uh, were going on, while those talks were going on, the net the board approval lapsed. Okay. So we had to go through that same process again, but this is again for the interest of government. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, next, uh, now in some in now in some ex occasions, no, and mm -hmm. I'll, I'll ask. This is for for both of you. I think we mentioned this already. In some occasions, and I think uh, Halion made a uh, a point here. No, um, we've seen extensions of biddings, thus delaying the improvement. Mm -hmm. um, you think that the PPP program design is the main culprit to this? The uh, I, design I think, of the PPP? Sure, I think it's partly because it's new to us. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole PPP program. Sure, mm -hmm. there have been BOT projects before, but we've learned that they weren't advantageous to government. Mm -hmm. So we have this whole new PPP way of doing things, which we've received feedback from countries like the UK, Singapore, telling us that we're in fact mm -hmm. faster than normal. Mm -hmm. It would normally take for them four to ten years to get a project from concept to award of the project. Compared to other countries? Yes, mm -hmm. the countries which have gone before us. Mm -hmm. We're doing it in three, four years. Mm -hmm. So it's actually not accurate to say that we're doing it slowly, but there have been delays. And mm -hmm. the delays is because we've been ambitious, we've been wanting to get the projects done as soon as we can. But mm -hmm. we did not sacrifice the quality of the projects by just doing it haphazardly without mm -hmm. going through the proper processes. Okay, uh, Kalyan, you mga extension of biddings, 
Uh, do you think that has been uh, contributing to the delays? You know, the extend well, uh, bidding for uh, I'm now for I'll be talking about the bidding uh, about the uh, the subject matter of which is the motor vehicle license plates, mm -hmm. uh, motor vehicle license plate. Okay, uh, the bidding occurred sometime May 2013. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, unfortunately. Yung winning bidder, ngayon lang yata nakakapag-deliver nung, nung ano. It's mm -hmm. after, one, in, uh, after up one year. Mm -hmm. So yung delay was caused by, by different uh, aspects of the bidding process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So like for example, uh, it was bidded on May 2013. The notice mm -hmm. of award mm -hmm. was uh, uh, given yata and received by ano sometime August of 2013. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, after 176 days yata, if, if my memory serves, serves me right, mm -hmm. saka lang nagaroon ng notice to proceed, mm -hmm. which in violation of sec a certain section of the IRR of our procurement law, mm -hmm. that it states that, that within 10 days, if I'm not mistaken, Hmm. The, the, sure, uh, the, the contract hmm. should be signed within 10 days and the performance bond should hmm. be put up within 10 days. Hmm. Hmm. But the contract was signed 176 days after the, be, after after the, the notice of award. Hmm. Okay. Even the Mayowa, uh, there, was a re, uh, there was an issue about the Mayowa. Hmm. According to DBM, there is a... The, uh, there is a, uh, they had a difference with, with, the, with the DOTC about the Mayowa. Mm -hmm. According to uh, pertinent existing uh, DBM, uh, uh, DBM uh, memorandum, uh, memorandum mm -hmm. that, uh, and even the GPPB, mm -hmm. uh, it states there that uh, no, Mayo, no approved Mayowa, no bidding. Mm -hmm. no, ap no approved Mayowa, no notice of award to be given. Right. And that, that issue will be taken by us to the... Regarding the, uh, the plates, uh, right? Uh, mm. uh, All right. That legal issue will be taken by us in the competent... Uh, Court. First, okay. uh, some bondsman siguro. Oh. Sa, okay. So we are trying to evaluate mm -hmm. for us to really force the issue because during the time of GMA, there is a failure hmm. of the winning bidder to supply uh, plate, uh, motor hmm. vehicle plates. Shortage. No, shortages. shortage. Then, on the early part of the Pinoy administration, there is again a failure from the hmm. winning bidder. Hmm. So, right. once is enough, hmm. uh, one, one mistake is enough, twice is too much. Uh, that's uh, why on the third, on the third, uh, uh, bidding of, for this uh, motor vehicle license plate is, is standardization program mm -hmm. as a watchdog and uh, in view of the public interest mm -hmm. para sa bayan, para sa taong bayan, mm -hmm. talagang tinitignan namin to. Uh, uh, quickly, uh, uh, Director oh. Miggs, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, do, do you have a, oh. uh, a comment yeah, on that? Yeah, sure. Uh, the Mayowa, it's a, an obligation of the DBM to issue or an oh. option of the DBM to issue for a project that has multi-year uh, payments. No? The law, the General uh, Appropriations Act, which is, provides that you can issue the Mayowa mm. even after or just before award. So that might be the point of contention in court. Yeah. No? But I agree that uh, para sa bayan, we are doing this. Once failure is not good, second, it's oh, yeah. bad enough. Third, we welcome your, uh, your now, give, given that. Given this flawed bidding process, as, uh, as you were pointing out, no, what what Talayon uh, are your alternatives, no, that, so that the project will be fast tracked? And, and well, first and going? foremost, uh, they have to have uh, more technocrats than lawyers, mm -hmm. so that uh, the terms of preference will be will be fixed uh, appropriately. Uh, appropriately, or correctly, yeah. there will be no changing of terms of preference, like, just like what happened uh -huh. in their uh, latest bidding of the IT project. Mm -hmm. Twice silang lang nagpalit. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, so there are more questions than, ano eh, than no. corrections. 
Now, finally, uh, I guess uh, I'd like to ask this question. Uh, I guess I, sometimes because uh, things get lost no, in, in, in communication and all that, and uh, we, we miss out the message. Do you think the DOTC is slow or maybe um, ineffective in its communication with other government agencies and perhaps the public and maybe the legislative branch? Do you think that's the reason why uh, there's a perception that you know, we have all of these backlogs? You know? Well, I could not uh, comment on that. Mm. Uh, what we are trying to say is that uh, DOTC, the, uh, the bids and awards committee of the DOTC should uh, re religiously uh, observe the procurement law mm. and its pertinent IRR mm -hmm. plus the, the memorandum uh, circulars of DBM, NEDA. Mm. Because otherwise you're going, to be, you're going to be on them, right? <laughs> Otherwise, it will be a great backlog. All right. All right. Uh, okay, final words, uh, gentlemen. Uh, mm -hmm. Director Miggs, uh, your final words. Again, this whole debate is mm -hmm. for the purpose of in, uh, informing our, yeah. our, our public uh, to find, for them to find out more about what's going on mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Rob, regarding thank, all of these projects. Thank uh, you for giving me that opportunity, yes? the DOTC, that opportunity. Perhaps what I want to convey to the viewers is that the DOTC is trying to catch up with 15 to 20 years worth of backlogs of projects. Airports that should have been built in the 90s, railways that should have been built 10 years ago, we are doing them now. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking at the whole spectrum of transportation, that's a whole lot of projects to do. Going on, and yeah. We are doing them right now so that we leave the country better than when we entered government. All right. Thank you very much, Director Miggs. Uh, Kalyan, your final words. Well, uh, my final words, para sa bayan, dapat bagsikap ng gusto of the OTC. Mm -hmm. All right. Well taken. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, that, I think that, uh, that uh, comment is well taken. Mm -hmm. uh, and with that, uh, we'd like to thank our guests, Attorney Michael Arthur Sagal, our Director Miggs, and Mr. Leon uh, Peralta Calion. Uh, thank you very much for joining us uh, for tonight mm -hmm. on this discussion. Now let's feel the pulse of our viewers uh, uh, through our online poll. No? Our, our question, is the Department of Transportation and Communication adequately addressing transportation backlogs in the country. Those who answered yes, the DOTC is doing its job, 30%, and those who answered no, 70%. And that's our opposing views for tonight. Tune in again next week for another bold and engaging discussion on today's most relevant issues. I'm Rod Nepomuceno. Good night, God bless, happy weekend.